The Super Nintendo just turned 30 years old, and in today's video, I'm going to take a look at five games that you can still find today for the Super Nintendo that are good and cheap. I've done several of these videos in the past, and this is actually a follow-up to a video I did about a year ago on the Super Nintendo. You know, with all the talk of video game prices surging, especially for retro video games, I thought it'd be cool to go back and look at a very classic console that was very popular, and especially Nintendo, and look at some games that are still cheap to find today. I know many collectors out there want to know what's a good deal, what's a good game. The games I share today, they're not perfect, but they're still very popular, and I think anybody that picks up these games will enjoy them, and they're fairly affordable. And so if you don't see a game that should be on this list, just remember I did a video a year ago with 10 additional games that are still relatively cheap to find as well. I'm doing a lot of videos on my channel, different types, and if you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. So enjoy this video, sit back, relax, here we go. I grew up with the Sega Genesis version of Desert Strike, and while I would probably still give that one the nod over this version, it doesn't mean this is bad. In fact, this has the same excellent gameplay found in the Genesis version, and I'm gonna explain why this is a value pickup and one you should check out. Desert Strike is a perfect marriage between action and strategy. You know, I'm a big fan of games such as Choplifter, and this just takes it to the next level. And you're going around these isometric levels, blowing up various uh, vehicles, weapons, buildings, and locations. You have to strategize, you have limited ammo and fuel and armor, and it's, it's, it's really cool. You have a really cool map where you can locate things, and it, it's, it's just a breeze to control, it's really nice control, and I found myself wanting to play this more and more. You're rescuing people, and you know, even though there's only four levels, the levels are rather large, and there's over 25 plus missions, I think 27 missions total, protecting an, an envoy, you're, you're rescuing a hostage, or you're, you're taking out a location. And so there is a lot of variety with the missions, and I think there's a lot to enjoy here. I recommend checking this game out. If you haven't checked out any of the Strike series games, this is the one I recommend to start with. There's also Jungle Strike and Urban Strike as well. Gradius 3 was an early classic shooter release on the Super Nintendo. And while not perfect, I think this is a great value trainer for classic shooters. And I'm going to explain why. Growing up with the original NES, I was blown away when I first saw Gradius 3 because the graphics were simply so much better than the original NES. And so it has a cool power-up system. You can choose your, your starting loadout. And I think the graphics are the strength of this classic shooter. Now there is slowdown. And that's gonna really bother some people. If you grew up with Super Nintendo, it's more forgivable. But the benefit of the slowdown is it actually is a great trainer because of the slowdown for classic shooters. And so I, I look at Gradius 3 as kind of like a trainer so that you can play other more difficult shooters that typically are better than this one. But I think there's a lot of value here to offer. It has fantastic bosses and level design. This game can be rather challenging on normal. I do recommend if you're new to this genre or want to get in some practice start it on easy and build your way up you know a lot of classic shooters can be very relentless and this one is no different as when you die you lose all your power-ups but i like what this game offers i do recommend checking it out especially if you're new to collecting or want to get a value shooter that doesn't break the bank there are hundreds of sports titles for the Super Nintendo, but I choose Tecmo Super Bowl because I think it has a lot to offer, especially people that may not be totally interested in like a sim type sports game. It's a perfect marriage of arcade action and sports. Tecmo Super Bowl on the Super Nintendo is a significant graphic upgrade from the NES version. And you can choose one of 28 teams and a multitude of different 
play modes. There's even a coach mode. You can create your own Pro Bowl. I love the cinemas of, you know, when you sack a quarterback or score a touchdown. There's a lot to like here. To relive the glory days of your favorite football team. And even if you don't have a favorite football team, there's a lot of fun here. Uh, running and passing and sacking, offense and defense. It's a really simple game to pick up and play, too. You're choosing uh, one of a series of offensive uh, plays and on the defense you're trying to choose the play that the offense is running and so a lot of fun here uh, I always enjoy throwing bombs to Fred Barnett with Randall Cunningham as I'm an Eagles fan uh, you can choose your team of choice but there is a lot to like about this arcade sports game and definitely my pick for value option for the Super Nintendo if football is not your thing you may want to check out one of the King Griffey Jr. baseball games, or either NBA Jam or NBA Jam Tournament Edition. The next game has a confusing title because it has nothing to do with Tetris other than being a puzzle game. It was actually called Panel de Pon in Japan. They swapped out sprites and released it in the U.S. as Tetris Attack. You may know it as Pokemon Puzzle League or Puzzle League. Confusing names, but one of the best puzzle game series ever to be released. If you haven't played this game, you are in for a treat. More importantly, it's cheap. And lots of different play modes here. Time attack, challenge, puzzle, versus. You are going to like this if you are a fan of puzzle games. But yeah, you're simply just swapping out tiles. Uh, and lining them up to match three, but there's a lot of strategy to this game. It can get uh, rather complicated, and I found myself not wanting to stop, which is a sign of an excellent game. You may have grown up with this. If you haven't, highly recommend going back and playing the Super Nintendo version. Colorful graphics, it's got Yoshi in it, and I would go as far to say one of the best puzzle game series to be released and so I think that this game has a lot to offer it's great multiplayer as well playing with a friend or <laughs> playing with someone you want to beat look no further than playing Tetris Attack a launch title for the Super Nintendo in the US Pilot Wings is a fun light-hearted flight sim that shows off the capabilities of the Super Nintendo, especially the Mode 7. This is a creation of Miyamoto himself, and it shows, and I absolutely love this game. You know, and it's dated a little bit now, today's standards, but the fun is still there. I, I There's a multitude of different events. There's even bonus stages, including Human Cannonball. But what you're doing is you're, you're doing a, a various multitude of missions with different vehicles and aircraft. And, you know, it starts out easy and then gets way more difficult. You know, I'm a fan of games such as Monkey Target on Super Monkey Ball. So this is kind of like a, a precursor to that type of game where you're, you're landing and you're getting points and you eventually get licenses and progress with more challenging stages and aircraft. And so I, I do definitely like the jetpack levels as I found myself wanting to play them over and over. There is quite a bit of fun in this game and if you haven't checked it out, go back to the original Pilot Wings. There's also a Pilot Wings 64 and Pilot Wings Resort for the 3DS. I recommend both of them. Also, this is one of the games offered on the Nintendo Switch online service. And so you can also check it out there. So those are my picks for five good and cheap games you can still find for the Super Nintendo. Again, I did a, this as a follow-up to a previous video in which I mentioned 10 good and cheap Super Nintendo games. What are your picks? What are your memories? Comment below as I always love to hear your stories connected to these games. And as always, Thank you for watching this channel. Now, where can you find these games? You may be in a rural area, you may have to go online. The good news is these are relatively still cheap. Also, if you have a local game store close to you that sells retro video games, you may wanna support them as brick and mortar stores are very thankful for any business that they can get at this time. 
And you know, there are several other picks I could have done. These are my personal picks, as I think many of these games have a great value and I think would be a welcome addition to any collector trying to flesh out their collection. Thank you so much for watching this channel. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's stay positive. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.